see you, Dr. Uh, David Masanga. Now, quickly, uh, why has this insurgency in Somalia proven difficult to curtail? I, I mean, it's been there probably longer than most of uh, the conflicts on the continent. Thank you very much, Suleiman. And thank you for inviting me, and thank you for coming back from a long vacation. And uh, thank you very much, viewers across the world, the globe, watching us. It is sad that since 1991, the country of Somalia has never seen peace. The Horn of Africa has never seen peace. And we continue to have no peace at all. Our continent, our region has been destabilized by terrorists and terrorism that has taken the toll, the long toll of our economies, our inter interactions and integration of this region. It is not a surprise that at this moment, the Al-Shabaab are now coming to the final end of their plans to make sure that they change the entire region and change the entire leadership of Somalia. But why has it come to this level? It has come to this level because the leadership themselves in Somalia, the leaders, the two leaders, especially the president of Somalia, Farimajo, has let down the people of Somalia. In fact, he is one of those stumbling blocks no elections, elections today, a tussle between him and the prime minister, a tussle between him and other leaders of the region, especially leaders of the Jubaland. These are some of the things that worry an African and Africans like us who speak about African integration and African peace. So this latest threat, this latest uh, point, this latest uh, you know, warning is not, should not be taken lightly because it looks like the forces in the Somalia, those that even supported the little peace that was there, they seem to have gone back to regroup with those forces. Let, 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 me, let me jump in here, uh, Dr. Masanga, quickly here. Allow me to butt in. Now, you, you, you put the blame squarely on the table of the president, but it would seem some other analysts think that um, the uh, you know elections not holding is as a result of uh, Al Shabaab in the first place. No, elections cannot even be held in a place where there is peace. Elections cannot be held, and you, you, one of the things, uh, Suleiman, you must understand about this conflict. It is a conflict that has sucked in so many countries. And it is a conflict that has brought in quite a number of people. Those experts claiming to be experts, those giving us wrong and false or fake information. The point here is this. The entry of external forces, the entry of external forces, namely United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Turkey, and to some extent, European countries like Norway, it has made matters very difficult for this region to have peace. Let's talk the truth. And the now, you, and, and and now you've said, you've said we sh uh, Africa must not take lightly the threat by Al-Shabaab. But the question is, why is the president and prime minister target of Al-Shabaab? I mean, that is there. Anybody who has studied intelligence or terrorism or who has studied terrorist, uh, uh, you know, activities, that's what they want to do. I think they finally want to wipe out the entire leadership of which everybody, at the moment as we speak, most of the Somalis are fed up, are fed up with the two people haggling over elections, two people having two armies, two special branch, two police, people guarding each other, not seeing eye to eye. So if they, there is anything like that, they have opened up a corridor of weaknesses. Those weaknesses can be exploited by this terror. 
uh, groups that had actually been diminished and uh, taken to a central point. For example, how does Al Shabaab, for example, operate near in the capital? There must be people that see them operate in the capital. There must be groups that had facilitated them, give them food to come and eat and kill people in the capital. Because of the warring factions of two parties, because of the warring factions of the prime minister and the president, there is bound to be a house not, uh, not united can enter a wild animal that can eat either both the children or all of the parents plus the children.